All right, Nigerians, you see the government of this country, eh? who not fear them, who not fear this country, where, where? Now, what did I discover when I went to Borono State? Now, um, I went to Borono State to create awareness as to the situation that was happening because the people needed help, right? So while I was there, I started investigating. First things first, this Borono State that everybody is shouting Boko Haram, Boko Haram, insecurity, insecurity, there's no Boko Haram there anymore. The state is very very secured do you understand but they are refusing to promote this part of the state because they are making money from international aid they are making a lot of money so they are refusing to promote that part at all but the biggest scammer and the biggest murderer in nigeria is the government i'll tell you why the people of maiduguri have been shouting for a long time now that the alaw dam was collapsing in fact if you download google earth pro the pro you will see that the people were right because this app allows you to go back in time to view high resolution satellite imagery of structures any structure in the world because they don't want investors to come in they are okay with the money that they are making from insecurity that that from the insecurity lies that they are throwing out there no more book around there that's number one number two when the NGOs and the international bodies started discovering that's come, this insecurity don't they reduce. Let's now leave. Do you understand? There's no point staying here. These people don't move. This flooding alert now came to them. Instead of the government to do something about it, they refuse because they know that when the flooding happens, they will get aid. International aid will come and they will make way more money than the insecurity one. Do you understand? Now, this flooding thing that happened in Borno State, the Cameroon government had warned Nigerian government that see you, this thing is going to happen. So, since uh, I was telling somebody that the only flood that ever happened in Nigeria that was natural disaster was the one that happened in 2012. And after then, the other flood that has been going on and happening in Nigeria are being politicized. As a matter of fact, I was telling somebody that this year there's never going to be anything like flood. That since Tinubu has taken over power, forget about flood. That if you see flood, it is politicized. But I'm sure that this man is not going to allow it. It's obvious at this point it's coming from the north. So I just to buttress what these guys are saying. <clears throat> this flood of a pain, it's never a natural disaster. It's an intentional act that they do it so that they can make money from it. Let me allow you to continue to listen to what they are saying. The people around the area were crying seriously and telling these people that, see, this thing will break. Those people say there's no cause for alarm, it will not break. Do you understand? Now, for you to know that this government knew what they were doing, while all these things were happening, they quickly gave public holiday to schools. Those schools that they gave public holidays to, they are currently using them as IDP camps. Immediately, they started creating place for IDPs. Instead of preventing, they were looking for the cure, meaning they knew what they were doing. Now, the team boss, he buy a lot of people and put a lot of over 300,000 houses and their occupants in the place, in this place. Now, money don't they come. Do you understand? Now, for you to know that these people know what they are doing, these are the current list of the people that have donated money. You can search for Allow Dam on that app. You can also use the coordinates that we have on the screen in case you don't find it by typing. Copy the coordinates on the screen, put it in that Google Earth Pro, and you will actually see that some part of the dam had collapsed since 2022, November 2022. This picture you are seeing right now was February 2022 before the dam started collapsing. So you will see the difference. And the date is at the top left corner. And also this was September 2022. Now this one, was October 2022, it clearly flooded. And by November 2022, the structures had started collapsing. Some part of the dam had already collapsed. Now look at the before and after, so you know what we're talking about. And if you're wondering what had been holding the water back, it's the dikes. So a dike is a barrier used to regulate or hold water back. It's the walls built around a dam, so that if a dam is overflowing, that wall will now prevent it from getting to the people. Ali Kodangote allegedly donated $1 billion. Honorable Minister, Honorable Member of Representative uh, Kwaya Kaswa Mukhtar Aliyu donated $100 million. That is 
Governor Inua donated, Governor of Gombe State donated 100 million, that is 1.2 billion. Governor of Lagos State, Nasarawa State, Minister of Water Resources, APC Party National Chairman, they also donated a lot of money, which is undisclosed. Now, is it that the government of Borunu want to tell me that one point, let's just say 1.5 billion cannot take care of this current thing that is happening in Borunu State? Hmm? People, when I carry ordinary five bag of rice, go give the DRP. Do you know what 1.5 billion can do? It can turn everything around. It can create housing. It can create housing scheme. But of course, they know what they are doing. They won't do it. Immediately I left that state, based on that awareness when I create, and I need to give me shout out there. Immediately I left the state. Apabi was there. Uh, Senate President Apabi was there yesterday at Billy Forest. He rained bitter. He also came to support. So a lot of money have gone to Burundi. Let me tell you what is funny. Apart from Lagos State, eh? Burundi get money past any other state. Too. But they have the highest alimagiri. Mm. They have a lot of alimagiri. If you turn to your left, they'll beg you money. Turn to your right, they'll beg you money. If you even hold food for hand, if you collect the food chop. Now, my question is, Nigerian government, why are you being wicked? Why? 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 Instead of preventing the flood, you let the flood happen so that you make money out of the international aid that is coming into the state. Obviously, they are not going to go and donate to the people directly. They'll give it to the government or the government to help. Do you know how much the government have made over time in Borono State for Boko Haram aid? All the international bodies that have been sending money for aid in Boko Haram during the Boko Haram era. And now there's no longer Boko Haram. Instead of them to encourage investors that are looking for more havoc and more disasters that will happen in the states that will create more international aiding to come into place. May God help Nigeria. May God help the people of Burundi. Well, it is obvious. Um, I don't really know what to say again. You guys have heard it. We have heard it from very dark man. <clears throat> he has said it all. I don't know what to say. Tell us on the comment section, what do you think? What do you know about what is going on in Borno State? What do you think about this present government? What do you think that is going on? What? Just, just let us know. Just say your mind on the comment sections. With all these things that we've shared like this now, let us know what, what we think. What do you think about the government of the day? What do you think? My people, things they happen. At first, we no go. Now, you no know. No.